Hey, it's Dan, and today I'll explain everything that you need to know about the pin lock lens. If you haven't heard of this already, this is by far the best way that I found to prevent my visor from fogging up whenever it's colder and more humid outside. It works by effectively creating a second pane or a barrier in between your breath and the visor, which prevents your breath from fogging it up on cooler days. Uh, the installation is very easy, but you do need to make sure that your visor is pin lock compatible. Uh, it's going to say so whenever you search for your helmet, and the quick tell would be if it has these little pins already installed on the inside of the visor. So if you got this, you're good to go, and the installation takes only a couple of moments. Basically all you're doing is you're sliding this guy in place, you're latching the little cutouts into the pins inside of the visor, and then there is a silicone seal all the way around it, which prevents the additional lens from ever coming in contact with the visor, creating an air barrier, just like in your double pane windows in your house. Now the installation is quick and easy, but you do want to be careful and take your time. There's really two things to look out for. First of all, make sure that your visor and the pin lock lens are as clean as you can make them. That means no fingerprints, no smudges, no little dust particles or anything like that. The second part is to make sure that when you do install it, that you create a perfect seal between the lens and between your visor. So you're gonna use these little notches, you're gonna snap them right into the pins on the inside of the visor, um, and then you're gonna push the surface back in, creating a perfect seal all the way around. So take your time, it may take you a couple of tries to get it down right, especially if you don't have any uh, help from a third hand. So the way we'll do this is we're gonna orient this guy. Um, I know that the silicone seal will need to con come in contact with the actual lens, so I know it's gonna go in this way. Uh, my visor also has a little tab to open it up right in the center, so the tab will line up with the little notch on the pin lock, so I know that it's gonna be installed this way. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is just slide the pin lock lens into the first pin, don't be afraid to stretch your visor out a little bit. It's not gonna break. Don't force it too much, but uh, flexion, the flexion like this is totally fine. Same thing with the pin lock lens. Don't be afraid to lift it up a little bit in order to fit it against the pins. So this guy will be pressure fitted, so uh, you will need to muscle it just a little bit um, to make sure that you can get it into place. So it's lined up on both pins right now. And the next thing I wanna do real carefully is just make sure that it comes down all on its own, so that way it's gonna be perfectly aligned. And then it's just pressure fit right inside of the visor. Now there is a little protective film over it. I wanted to keep that in place just to make sure I don't scuff this up or scratch it before installation. So right now, everything looks good. It lines up nicely. I'll just go over it, take a close look to make sure that the silicone layer is perfectly lined up. Also, on this particular visor, there's a little groove right on up on the top that fits the sky just perfectly. So this is how I know that it's lined up exactly the way that it needs to be lined up. So I'm happy with the installation here. The next thing I'll do is uh, just remove this protective film. and we should be able to give it a try. So I've got my pin lock installed on my helmet. I got the visor back on here. Let's give it a test. So I'm gonna close it up and just breathe. All right, so this looks really good. There's no fog at all. I can see everything perfectly clearly. Uh, and it is kind of cool and humid in here. Exact same conditions that I had in the beginning of the video when the visor started to fog up just after the first breath. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.